our first trip in with Bernie, uh, it was just Evan and I. Well, it was Evan and I on staff, and it was obviously this multitude of amazing people that were this movement before we were even here for it to be a movement. And on the second day of the trip, we were in Iowa City, and we had just finished an event. And um, this little guy lugging all this equipment by himself came up to me and introduced himself and said he was Scott Glendez and could he have a few moments with me. I was thinking, oh, you know, I just talked to the Washington Post and New York Times. I can give this guy a couple of minutes. So I asked him, well, do you want to set up first or you want to just ask me some questions? And he said, no, oh, no, no, I don't want to interview you. I, I was just wondering if you can give me a ride home. <laughs> and I said, a ride home? How, how'd you get here? He goes, well, I took a bus to the train and then the train to another bus and then the bus got me here, but I'm not sure that bus will get me back to the train with all of this in time for me to get home. Now, I was going the other way and I couldn't give him a ride home. But I remember getting in the car and I remember thinking to myself, what, what did I get into? What kind of campaign gives the press a ride home after the event? <laughs> and then the next day I got my answer when I was talking to Evan when he told me he was the one who gave him the ride home. <laughs> so I said, oh, the campaign I'm on is the type of campaign that's going to do that. And then for the next year, uh, obviously, I think the only exception was Bernie. Nobody was at more events, more uh, big events and small events, uh, with all of our great activists, all of the great staff we had, all of the great volunteers, all of the great uh, supporters who followed us like it was a Grateful Dead concert. <laughs> but nobody was at more events than Scott was, and he really did become part of the campaign, even though he never lost that press pass. He became a fire of it and part of the campaign. And I want to be clear about something, and it's kind of uncomfortable to say, but I think it's worth saying. Scott's obituary said that he passed away uh, due to complications from diabetes. But we all know something different. In our hearts, we all know the truth. Although the ravages of that disease ended his time here with us, it wasn't because of complications from diabetes. Scott died because of complications from a system that didn't care one iota about people like him and still doesn't. He wasn't connected enough. He wasn't rich enough. And although he worked hard, he didn't have the right kind of job. You know, in the end, Scott, I, I really believe this, decided that although the disease made it impossible for his body to continue, and the system threw up every roadblock to prevent that from happening. In the very end, even though he couldn't get the care he needed because of that system, he wasn't gonna let either of those things dictate when the end would be. Scott decided to go out on his own terms, penning, as other folks have mentioned, penning a courageous last article, pleading to a society to help others in a way that it wouldn't help him. So at the very end, instead of thinking about himself, he pleaded for all of us to help other people even though we didn't help him. There is courage in that. I, I really believe that. And I don't think it's hyperbole, hyperbole to say that what Scott did and how he lived his life right to the end was the same type of courage that we have seen throughout the history of this country. It was a different venue, it was a different time, there wasn't as much light on it, but it's the same courage that people had at Gettysburg. It was the same courage that people had on that beach in Normandy, and it was the same courage those people had walking over that bridge in Selma, Alabama. It's the same type of courage. Since the day he left us, I've been thinking about the words of a uh, of one of my favorites, a, a great uh, folk singer from the 60s uh, named Phil Oakes. And he wrote some words that I think are very fitting and, and in a, really a great tribute to Scott. And, and what he wrote was, I won't be laughing at the lies when I'm gone, and I can't question how or, where, how or where or why when I'm gone. 
and I can't live proud enough to die when I'm gone. So I guess I'll have to do it while I'm here. So how do we honor our friend who lived proud enough to die while he was here? Well, as luck would have it, another stanza from that same uh, work, I think gives us our next action. And what he wrote was, all my days won't be dances with the light when I'm gone. The sands will be shifting from my sight when I'm gone. I can't add my name to the fight when I'm gone. So I guess I'll have to do it while I'm here. Well, we're here. And this is our time, and this is our fight. And although we may not as individuals have that capacity to, of courage that Scott had, few people do. Collectively, we can find it. Collectively, we can find that courage. And if we band together, and we organize together, and we continue to speak truth to power together, we can find the courage. And when we do, we will win together. Right. We will see yeah. that day that there will be no more stories like this, there will be no more gatherings like this at grave sites for people that have a story similar to Scott's. We can build that society, we can build a world in which nobody, regardless of who they are, dies because health care that was needed was not made available. And I know standing together, we'll see that day, I know we'll be there together on that day when some American president signs it into law and says that health care in the richest, greatest country that ever was is no longer just a privilege, it's a right. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, on that day, I'm only going to have one regret. And that's going to be that I won't see Scott lugging all that equipment with him so that he could be filming it as it happens. So I say rest in power, buddy. I promise we're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep fighting for this and the other things, and we will make the will of the people the law of this land. Thank you all. Thank you.